hello guys welcome back in this video we will see how we can customize the themes provided by the end design so suppose if this theme is provided by the end design how we can customize that to this one right so for that what end design says is that they are using less as a development language for styling so they have provided a lot of less variables that we can uh, use and customize them so here is a list of major variables used uh, for from the end design like what is the primary color the link color what is the success color uh, what is suppose, the heading color so disabled color and what is the uh, box shadow base or what they are using uh, values against that and also they have provided uh, the list of all the variables they are using right so here you see a long list of variables they are using so suppose here we can see uh, for the link they say what the link active color right and suppose uh, let's search few of them suppose uh, we can say for the progress uh, components what is the default color what is the te is text color right so uh, for the table uh, like the table bg what they are using for uh, the color for that uh, what is the header bg color right and I suppose uh, the border color a lot of variables you see here for almost each of uh, the components they have provided the pagination page header the slider transfer message alert steps right and also uh, they say that if you see that this list is not enough so please report an issue so that they can create the variables or uh, fix that right so to uh, customize these variables uh, what we need to do is uh, we can uh, follow the steps given in use in react uh, create react app so let's go there so in the top they have provided uh, the instructions how we can create uh, a new react app and ha how we will start the server how we can add the end design in that and how we can use different components from the end design and how we can uh, add uh, their default CSS so I have created uh, a separate video on that how we can uh, use end design in react.js project I will add the link in the description below so please go ahead and uh, take a look and also I have created multiple videos on different end design components like button input drop down table progress bar and spinner so I will add the links of those as well in the description below so that uh, you can uh, take a look on of all of the those so the ground is set up right so to customize the the theme what we need to do is uh, we will be using Krako npm package so that is create rect app config overwrite right so we will be adding that so here is a command john add uh, Krakos and I am using npm so I will use npm install Krako and also we will be uh, using the Krako less as well so let's go ahead and see what we have right now so I have brand new react.js project and and is already already installed also the Krako uh, and the calculus both of and these uh, NP packages are installed right and let's go ahead and start adding few components uh, within their default theme so, and then later on we will customize the theme right so let's add button you can see button and maybe with a type of uh, primary and then we can add input uh, we may say with the placeholder of type here let's save it I see okay let's add a space here to space them in a good way and we can say that 
uh, its traction is vertical right so you go button then input let's add few more components like when you can add a progress with a, a percent of maybe 50 and with the type of the circle right i have added videos on uh, these components uh, i will add in the description below so you can take a look how the props and how these components works uh, then let's add spin and we can say it is spinning and then maybe we can add a date picker right and let's add a this slider as well here you go the slider and uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I think these are enough uh, components to customize. Okay, so right now you see uh, all of these are some sort of blue and when you select on that, there is a blue border here and also here the text, the text color uh, here you see it is black, right and also the border is something blue, right. So, to customize what we need to do is uh, after adding the uh, Craco and pay package, we need to update uh, this start, build and test. So, for now uh, we are only using the start. So, let us update uh, this. So, in the npm package, so direct scripts will be uh, replaced with Craco, right. Copy it. Let's uh, update all of these. Although we are not using uh, all of these, we are only using the start, right? Save it, and then what we need to do is we need to create a file that crackle.config.js at the root. Let's go ahead and create a file here. You can say this one, right? and then in that file uh, also instead of the app.css we will be renaming it to app.less so go ahead and replace uh, rename that to app.less and also in app.js we will be importing app.less right and in app dot test instead of the css we will be doing uh, this one let's remove this and use the less and then in the character config dot js uh, what we need to do is uh, let's copy and add here so we have imported Crackerless and then in the module exports under plugins we are using the Crackerless plugin and in the options we are using less loader options and in the less options uh, this is uh, the line we need we will be using the most that is modify variables. So here we will be modifying uh, all of the variable all the required variables what we need to update uh, suppose here they have added a lot of variables here. So, whatever we need to be updated, we will be overriding those here, right. So, uh, here you see I am uh, overriding the primary color to instead of uh, showing the bluish one we uh, saw earlier. So, we will be showing uh, this greenish, right. Save it and after that uh, save this one as well. So, once these changes are done, uh, we need to restart the server. So, let us quit it and uh, restart. So, what it will uh, do is instead of showing the bluish color, it will be showing the greenish here you see right. Before it was blue, now it is green, 
here it is you see the green here you also see the green right here you see the green so these are uh, these are the ones who was using the primary color so this hover effect is also greenish now so here they were using the primary color right so uh, we have updated the primary color to uh, this one this color right so let's go ahead and uh, override few other variable as well suppose let's uh, update this uh, border color to something else so for that let's uh, search the border color uh, not from the table and let's go to the top so here you go so the border color base it is they are using hsv 0085 percent so let's uh, update this one to something else okay so the border color base uh, let's use instead of the hsv uh, let's use a simple hex maybe 09 f let's use this one save it and every time you save this config uh, we need to restart the servers uh, actually this theme will be uh, i mean created once and after that we will be creating components and we do not need to restart the server every time so but every time for now every time you make an update here we will update this uh, restart the server so that the latest changes are uh, taken up from this config file and uh, those are uh, rendered correctly so here you go now the border color has been changed to this one for this one and this one right and let's add few more things so here you see the color is uh, blackish here the color is black here you see the color is black the text color is black right and let's go ahead and update that as well i guess it should be text color at the top yeah the text color black 85 percent right so let's update this one to some other colors so maybe we can use ash red zero green f and blue maybe this one right save it and restart the server to get the latest changes here you go the text color has been updated so if you click on it the text color here is also updated so the here this should be using some other variable maybe uh, disabled values or something i mean which are not uh, under this month they will be using some other variable for that and here if i type something yeah it is also using the same text color right also uh, on top of uh, updating the theme variables uh, we can always customize these uh, components uh, by adding maybe you can say the class name suppose the class name is button copy this one and in the css let's say we can say the color to be maybe red right save it here you go now the, uh, the the default color is uh, red uh, we have not added the hover color so default color is has been updated and this is using the class and also we can add i mean the style here if needed and that will also work you can update the color to maybe yellow right here you go right so there are multiple ways to customize uh, one is using the theme can be customized using these variables then we can 
add different classes to these components and then in the classes we can override different things and also we can add uh, the, the inline styles for the components and also we can up, uh, even override the already added classes uh, to these function uh, to these components all right so in this video we saw how we can customize different components from the end design uh, we practically saw uh, customizing button input text uh, the uh, the spinner the progress bar date picker and the slider so using the same pattern we can customize all of the components provided by the end design but still if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and if you have learned something in this video please hit like subscribe to my channel see you in next video thank you